Hi, welcome to Trek Trav, and um, today we're discussing is Picard still Picard? Basically, at the end of season one, the physical, biological version of Captain Picard was killed in a moderately depressing scene, but seemed a bit weird seeing as they were bringing him back to life. All the characters were crying, all the characters were acting like it was the end of the world, and then he came back in his golem, which is a synthetic android body, which is almost completely sort of biological, it's a mixture. And a lot of fans over the last uh, two years have been discussing whether that is still Picard or whether it's just a robot copy. Now, there's a few things I'd like to bring up in regards to Star Trek. first one, obviously, is the transporter problem. The transporter problem is that basically if you're deconstructing something and then reassembling it, every time you enter a transporter, you're essentially making a copy of yourself. So technically, Picard's not been Picard since he first stepped in a transporter. And this is, this is backed up by science into them actually, and believe me, they actually transported something. And they're not quite sure. Essentially, until they transport humans, they don't know. But the theory goes that you're, de you're pretty much destroying the original and then creating a new copy. And that means that all of our characters are just copies of the previous character. Does that mean they're the same? We don't know. We just assume that they're the same characters going in the transporter. It's not that they are being deconstructed and then brought back together with the same atoms. That's not what's happening. Um, and it's been an interesting one. I think uh, it, it's one of those fan theories that sort of sits there and it's a question, but no one really questions it because we know that the transport is just a device to get them from A to B and we don't have to use the shuttles because they're expensive. So throughout TNG, this is the second thing, throughout TNG we're shown how Data is a living sentient being, how he should be treated like us and that he is the same. So why would transferring someone's consciousness into a robot body mean that they're less than human? And this is where I find it quite funny because they spent the first season of Picard trying to show that Data was more than what he was. And they spent the entire of TNG showing us Data's progression to become more than what he was. So when Picard died, fans are going, well, he's not really Picard. The Star Trek universe generally, Starfleet officers don't have a religion. There's no soul. Um, your knowledge and experiences are what make up you. Your influence on the life is what makes up you. So therefore, if they transferred all of that into the golem, then that's technically Captain Picard. As we should know, uh, Picard already had a cybernetic heart. His heart was solid uranium, which he mentioned several times in Next Generation and in Picard. So he was already a cyborg anyway, technically. And... What is it with Picard when you, when you can't cross that boundary? He's a cyborg and then he becomes a kind of just a different type of cyborg. The question is on the memories of the man. Now, he remembers everything he was. He remembers everything he is. He obviously remembers how to be old because that's what he had. Uh, so he, it's very much a, a question of whether you have been paying attention to the Star Trek narrative, which is synthetic life when it reaches a certain point is real life. Whether this is the same Picard, it's definitely a Picard, it is, is Picard in the sense of it is an android who, who knows it's Picard with all these memories and all these things. But what makes up a human? We all have memories and they make up what we are. That's all we are. We just store our biological chemical makeup in our head and it stores our memories. And once they're gone, they're gone. So if we could transfer this into that, why isn't he Picard? Why do so many fans feel like he isn't Picard? <music> Season two of Star Trek Picard, uh, we see Guinan and Guinan instantly recognizes him as Picard. Uh, and then the obviously second most controversial question comes up in episode four. 
but we won't bring that up in this video. That might be in the next video if you comment enough. You want to know my thoughts on the theory of Guinan and, and Picard in Star Trek Picard. So she recognizes him as Picard. Q recognizes him as Picard. So you, you've got all these characters going, no, this is Picard. He might be a little bit different, but this is Picard. Um, and there's no question of it. Like, um, Q just goes, that goes, that goes, that goes, that's who he is. So if, if he's got all the memories and all the experiences of Picard, everyone thinks he's Picard, then he's Picard, surely. Uh, the only question that I would have in regards to that is, is it a copy of a copy situation? When you make a photocopy of a photocopy of a photocopy, does that mean it gets less? He's lesser than the original Picard. But then that works for the transporter. He, he comes across as the real Picard. Now, in terms of his characterization by Patrick Stewart, Captain Picard has changed from the first episode of TNG to Picard. First episode of TNG is a very stalwart, unfunny person who's not very communicative of his emotions. This series, he's an older man who's reflecting on his life, and these are the emotions he has. Obviously, when he transferred to the, the uh, synthetic body, that went across as well. And it's very intriguing how people don't seem to comprehend that it's actually a natural thing. Like, it, look, to get rid of the health problems he would have with the Eremotid Syndrome in his head from the end of TNG, they did that way. It's not the way I would have chosen. It was a bit of an odd thing, and I found the TNG, uh, this Picard season finale, quite odd. Uh, but Star Trek in general generally has a bit of trouble with these kind of things. In terms of his characterization, Patrick Stewart has been playing that role to what he wants. He's a producer now. He chooses how Patrick, how Picard is portrayed in the series. Um, and if, Picard, if he doesn't have a problem with Picard, the same way as William Shatner did a lot of things as Captain Kirk, which I would just say, that's a bit iffy. William Shatner made Captain Kirk, Captain Kirk. Patrick Stewart made Picard, Picard. You could have other actors playing that role, but that role is determined by their characteristic. The charisma and the the cheekiness of Kirk is very much William Shatner. Chris Pine did a great job, but that is William Shatner. Picard's stalwart strength is very much Patrick Stewart, his, his gravitas and his acting background. And then also we run into the factor of his Spock Spock. Because in Star Trek uh, 2, Spock dies. His body is dead, he's on the planet, and then his cells are regenerated, which means renewed. They basically built another body, started off from youth, grew up. His mind wasn't part of it. So when you get to the end, when they place his memories back in that body, is that still the same Spock? It was still made from his genetics, but is it the same Spock in here? And my answer to that is, he's, no, he's not really. He's a different Spock with the same memories. It's a new body, it's new cells. So what would be the problem? The only problem as far as I can see is people like to nitpick the new Trek series, number one. They like to pick apart little things. But these are things that have all happened before. Is this the same person? Is this the same body? Is this a synthetic human actually alive? And the funny thing is, is Star Trek answers this question within its own universe. <laughs> point to Picard being different than he was and how he's a little more dark and depressing and in season two I don't think that's the case I think he actually becomes more positive but that's just the nature of getting older that's the life you remember back on life I know as much as I get older I remember back in fact the Star Trek fandom at the moment very much reminds me of Picard they're all looking back to TNG trying to work out whether that's the right thing they're all going oh it was better back when I was a kid they're doing that with Picard. Why is he focused on his past? Why has he got all this stuff happening? Past? Because when you're old, you look at the past. Believe me, I do. And, and I recently had someone pass who was close to me. And I very much am looking back on the memories of those days. And very much looking back on that person and who they were. And looking at who I was and how I can bring parts of them into my life. It's important. So that man, a man who's in his 90s, is obviously looking at that stuff. He's looking at his past, he's looking at how he's acting, looking at how he can bring back elements of himself that he's lost over the years. Now, I want to hear your thoughts. I want to know what you think about this. And I want you to know whether you want me to talk about the Guinan thing in Star Trek Picard, 
I want to know what you want me to talk about, so leave it in the comments. I want you to like, I want you to subscribe. It'd be great to get this channel to 100 very, very soon. Is he the real Bacard? In my mind, yes. This is a story. I'm not making up the story. Someone else is making up the story and I'm enjoying it. It's up to you whether you want to fill it. If you don't like it, don't watch it. But he is Picard to me, and he is Picard now. So if you disagree, put it in the comments. I'm happy to discuss it. Have a good day. Trek Trav out.